Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. I've got a question for rodeo people. Why do you fake cowboys lie so much? In a recent video, we exposed the killing of this horse named Waco Kid at a rodeo sponsored by the San Diego Padres baseball team. Rodeo spokespeople claim that this horse was okay, but for more than 30 years, we've exposed rodeo lies about dead animals over and over, and we're certain this horse is dead. We've put links to some of those cases in the description section of this video. Waco Kid was owned by the Vigan Company of MHA Nation, or the three affiliated tribes in North Dakota. On January 23, 2024, I placed a call to Lloyd Viggen and got a message machine. I left my name, my organization, and my phone number. Mr. Viggen did not return my call, but he did text. Missed your call? What is this in reference to? I was straightforward in my text response. Thanks for getting back to me, Lloyd. My name is Steve Hindy, and I'm the president of Showing Animals Respect and Kindness, or Shark. I'm calling about the horse injured at the San Diego Rodeo. I know the report is that the horse is okay, but I believe that he died. If he's alive, I'd like to see him and report that for myself. Is that possible? Mr. Vingan did not respond, so I texted him again. Lloyd, if that horse is alive and you allow me to see him firsthand, I will absolutely say that to anyone. I'm ready and willing to come and see him for myself. If the horse is dead, you're going to look a lot better if you just own up to it and explain what really happened. Please consider this carefully. I'm trying to be as fair and accurate as possible. Still, there was no response from Lloyd Viggen. If Waco Kid was alive, Lloyd Viggen would have no reason to hide. We've already uploaded a video exposing the sham injury report for Waco Kid, which was filed by infamous rodeo veterinarian Tim Eastman. A link to that video is in the description section of this video. Dr. Eastman's expert report on the condition of the horse is as follows. A horse crashed into the arena fence during a non-sanctioned event called the Indigenous Horse Race and became recumbent. That's it as far as the condition of the horse. Nothing about the nature of Waco Kid's injuries or the treatment given. Imagine if your dog was hit by a car and you brought him to Dr. Eastman and he wrote a report that said nothing but your dog was hit by a car and is recumbent. Would you pay Dr. Eastman's bill? Dr. Eastman's report, like Eastman himself, is a joke, and that's established. Now it's Floyd Viggen's opportunity to tell the truth, and I'm sorry that he isn't faring any better than the infamous Dr. Tim Eastman. There are plenty of people in rodeo who know what happened to this horse. We're going to go through them, one after another. Each person has an opportunity to tell the hard truth or to run from it. Integrity versus cowardice. What the fake cowboys can't do in the end is hide. Once the final shoe is dropped, and it will drop, the liars will be completely exposed. Stay tuned because this is going to get a lot more interesting. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. Consider sharing our videos so other people can help save lives. If you'd like to support Shark directly, you can follow the donation link in the description section of this video. If you'd like to gain access to exclusive content, consider sponsoring us on Patreon.